Hi, here's some more Microsoft Excel tips for you. Um, I'm using version 2013 here and uh, we'll just talk a little bit about manipulating column width. I'm sure we've all come across this situation before where your data doesn't fit in the columns and you get these funny mathematical terms which only geeks know how to unravel. So to unravel this situation I'll just go through a couple of ways of changing your column width to suit the data that you're putting in each column. Um, the first way is uh, you go on the top here get the down arrow and as soon as it turns into the double arrow on the right hand one of the column uh, you double click and that will change the size to suit the data and you'll have to do it for each single column now that gets a bit laborious so you can go and do it another way which you just select the columns that you want to change and then you go to any one of those lines and as soon as you see the double arrow you double click and there we go all of them have automatically been resized to fit the data now that doesn't always uh, work out the way you want it to because some columns are wide and some columns are narrow and aesthetically you might not want it to look like that so there's another way you can do it let's go back and just get these all back to what they were all jumbled up now there's another way you can do it where you can get all the columns to be the same size obviously then you have to size it to the column that's got the widest uh, data in it so what you do is just select the, the area that you want to change the column width of and then you go in on the home tab in Excel and you find cells and you click format and then you click column width and then you can put in any column width you want now the units here are characters of standard font width uh, and the, the default width of these columns is about eight and a half characters so if we look here that's about a default so let's try 12 characters and see how that works out there we go that's not too bad uh, that might be a little bit wide so we can just change it again to let's say 10 that looks I oh know that one is still out so we'd have to go 11 or 12 so um, I think that would have been the best let's just leave it at 12 yeah then everything's done there so those are a few methods of changing your column width to suit the data that you're putting in for a specific table hope you've enjoyed that if you like that please share and subscribe to this channel.